Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. We learned something new about the ID52 today, and that is that you can rearrange the Your Call Sign group. I'm in Memory Mode. I go to Menu. I go to Memory. I go to Your Call Sign. And this is your Your Call Sign list. And if I pick one and press quick, I can add, edit, move, delete. So let's move this one. And I'll relocate it here. And now the list is reordered. Notice 2A is first, and then 1A, and it goes on from there. So let me show you in the programmer how that relates and how it might be a little bit easier to do your rearrangements there than from the face of the radio, especially if you're doing a lot. Now let's look in the programmer and see how all this works. It starts with help, check for updates, and a screen opens showing you you have something you need to update. You need to reach back and close the programmer and then click updates. Then run the programmer again from its icon and it'll open back up to the last file you were using. And when we go D star digital D star settings, this is what we're talking about, the Your Call Sign list. They're in a nice, neat order. But you might not want to turn the knob to find everything. And I showed you on the radio that you can add, delete, or move. So I'm going to show you how that can be done in the programmer. Let's say I don't want 1A here, so I'm going to delete it. But I'm going to bring something else here, so I'm going to keep doing insert. Notice it's control insert, control insert. Now I have all kinds of room that I can work, I can bring things here and work with them. Well, I always do 30 Charlie. And I will tell you right now, cut does not cut it. I'm going to copy. And I'm going to paste. The radio does not care if it's in there more than once. And since I'm arranging it, so I'm using the top of the list, let's take 9 alpha. We're going to copy it and I'm going to paste it and we're going to take 17 Charlie because I have a net there once a week and I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to paste it and I'm going to build the list the way I want it. The other thing is the radio does not care if it has blanks you won't see those blanks this one Bravo will become number eight, nine, ten. They will go away. But that means that you don't have to do all the work to remove them. You can just leave them there. So anything else I want? 18 Bravo. Oh, that's right. I want that one. I'm going to bring this CQ down here so I don't have to turn the knob quite so far. You may not have caught that the trick, and there is a trick to doing the copy in this list, is to click on the channel number. If you click on either one of these two pieces, it won't copyright. This is not the prettiest editor, but it will get the job done. We're going to tell it OK. We're going to do 
we're going to do communications, send data to radio. And now when I look back at my radio, I see my list here in the programmer. I go into memory mode. I go to menu. I go to memory. I go to your call signs. I go to repeater list. But there, I have 30 Charlie. I have 9 Alpha. I have 17 Charlie. I have 8 Bravo, 18 Bravo. I have CQ, CQ, CQ. And I have 1 Bravo. Like I said, this one moved right up into this space. And just that quick and easy, it's done. The other question was, if I read this into a new file, will it hold the list the same way it was programmed? And we're going to tax it even more. I'm going to come down to this 6 Charlie, and I'm going to press quick, and I'm going to move, and I'm going to move it. Let's move it down to this spot. So it's just above, it's just below 9 Bravo and just above 9 Charlie. Now let's read it into the programmer. Into a default file and see what that list looks like. Communications, get data from radio and OK. D star, digital D star settings, 30 Charlie is first, 9 alpha, 17 Charlie, 18 Bravo, use repeater. I told you it would close up, and 6 is down here in the middle of the 9s. So whether you change it from the programmer and send it to the radio, or you change it on the radio and read it back into the programmer, the list does what you want it to do and stays in the order that you want it. I hope this helps. I hope you get more enjoyment out of your radio. And I'll hear you on the air. And remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.